season is here. Before you do yours, if you haven't yet, you're going to want to be aware of some changes in tax rules Congress passed last year. That's tonight's Don't Waste Your Money report. When Mike and Ella started planning their new home, they decided to build it completely green. We used high-efficiency uh, water heater, high-efficiency heat pump. In addition to saving energy, they'll get a $1,500 tax credit on their 2010 return. Now, this particular credit expired at the end of last year, so you need to claim it on last year's return or lose it. Another expiring credit you'll want to claim for 2010, the Making Work Pay credit. It's $400 for single people and $800 for married filing jointly. It's a credit for people who worked, even if they worked a little. It was one of the most commonly missed credits last year. And speaking of paying, if you took the first-time home buyer credit in 2008, it's time to start paying it back, says IRS spokesperson Peggy Riley. The 2008 first-time home buyer credit acted more like an interest-free loan. So if you took the full credit of $7,500 for that year, you're going to have to start re repaying $500 a year. But don't worry, some other last-minute tax changes may work in your favor. An inflation adjustment, for example, will increase the standard deduction and the income tax credit you'll receive. And that's not all. Taxpayers stand to get thousands of extra dollars in credits and deductions this year, such as the educator's expense, where teachers are paying for their own expenses for, for their classrooms, or the tuition and fees deduction, which will help a lot of parents and students um, who are in higher education. So how do you make sure you're getting all the deductions you deserve? Well, Peggy suggests filing electronically, so you'll always be using the latest up-to-date forms. The electronic programs will automatically ask you questions about credits and deductions that you may not even be aware of. As for Mike and Ella, they've got plans with the money they've saved. We're definitely going to put it back into improvements for the property. Some of these tax changes were made so late, in fact, last year that the IRS was not able to get all their forms updated until pretty recently. You can read more about these changes at WXYZ.com. Just look under Consumer News.